their you know linebackers and and up front because obviously that's going to probably control the the game in terms of the run game on their on their half. I feel like uh, Lafayette is a good uh, a good team. I feel like those guys is, I feel like their front three always go hard. I mean they always rotate in the front three to try to keep those guys fresh to get to the ball. I feel like the linebackers they they're very big physical guys. They they like to come downhill and, and hit you. I feel like the corners are, are very good corners. I feel like they um they got they do a good job out there in some man some um sometimes where where they try to get the linebackers free and try to get in the hole and everything. The safety likes to play over the top of the line. He never, you know, he never get beat often. It's just they're just a good football team, just ready to go out there and experience it. How key will it be to to establish that run game in the first quarter to I guess provide a little more space for the for the passing game to operate? Uh, it, it'll, it'll be good to uh, establish a run game very early. I mean, we've just been working hard in practice trying to polish some things up that we saw in Oklahoma and everything. But I feel like we get a running game going, you know, we, we'll be good. What do you think the biggest thing in terms of uh, – I watched the film a couple times now, as I'm sure you have. But, you know, the, the holes, I guess, some of them weren't there. You had to do a lot, try to do a lot yourself. What, what's the biggest thing to correct some of those and get everyone on the same page for – for Saturday? Oh, it's always good to correct some things. Sometimes I was I was getting a little wide. Sometimes sometimes we might miss a you know, miss a read or something like that. But it's all it's all it was a great opportunity and a great great way I just like how we came out and fought and never stopped fighting. ULL's coach specifically talked about you in his press conference this week about how hard of a runner you are and then he even talked about your, your pass protection and how physical you are in the pass protection part of the game. Do you, is that something you pride yourself on whenever it comes to pass protection? Yeah, I, uh, when growing up, my dad always told me, well, how great are you going to be without the ball? That's some stuff I pride myself on, you know, just trying to block, be great, you know, when I don't got the ball in my hand, just not trying to make plays running the ball, but, you know, just try to put my team over the top by pass pro. With, with you wanting to do the right thing when the, when the ball's not in your hand, and of course, you want to do when it, when the ball is in your hand. How would you grade your performance overall against against OU? I feel like I did great. I had a couple of MAs, and I could have did a lot of things better. But overall, I feel like I came out. I never stopped fighting, and we played a tough game. The the wheel route that you had, and that, that almost got almost got picked. Did you did you were you seeing green grass all all in front of you? You just wish the ball had a little bit more air under, underneath it. Yeah, I kind of wish it did, but I mean, it goes back to the basic man. We just got to work on it and get better for next week. Following up on, on what he was saying about you know ULL's head coach singling you out as and I think he dubbed you as the, the top running back in Conference USA in his opinion, um, what does that make you think feel when you are kind of the focal point of opposing teams' defense and coaches I guess giving you that much respect on a week to week basis? I really don't make me feel no kind of way because when I go out I just get one speed and that's that's all I got. So. I mean, when it comes down to it, I'm giving all I got, so it really, you know, really don't bother me. Your your physical style of your running is that is that something that you were just born with, or is that something you had to you had to learn just to never stop on every play? It's, it's something you just have to learn because sometimes when sometimes when you run into somebody, you you always meet your match, and then sometimes, I mean, you just can't give up because you you can't let them win because you know you just got to stay physical and stay going downhill and try to make some plays. I didn't get that. I did notice, I think, was that at the end of the first half, I think you could have run out of bounds, but you bowled over a defender and got a couple extra yards. Coaches say anything to you about that, about getting out of bounds maybe instead of running someone over? I know we have a rule that's in the running back room. It's called you can't go out of bounds. You can't go out of bounds in any circumstance. You just got to go get the tough yards. That's what I did. Who established that? Coach Jaluk. Y'all keep, keep track of, of it at all or whoever? Runs over anyone or anything like that, or y'all between between the running back group or anything? No, no, no.